Hey guys, welcome back to Bantalk Sports. So now that we are entering the part of the season where regular season games don't really matter anymore and the contenders are preparing for the playoffs, I think it's time to make my predictions on who I think will win the NBA championship this season. Now there are several contenders that have a legit shot at winning the title, so I'm going to be starting a new series on this channel where I give the reasons on why each of the top contenders have a shot at winning it all. And in this first episode, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Clippers. But before we start though, please smash that like button as it really helps out the channel. So without further ado, let's begin. So before we can talk about the Clippers' championship hopes, we need to understand why they are being counted out so much. Because every article that I read and every tweet that I see is about why the Nets and the Lakers are going to win the championship and not the Clippers, despite them having a better record than both of those teams. And it's because of the Clippers' history of choking in the playoffs. And we don't even have to look too far back into the past. Because just last season, they had a 3-1 lead against the Denver Nuggets, but completely blew it. Paul George did not live up to the nickname Playoff P, and the Claw couldn't buy a basket in the fourth quarter of Game 7, and they lost. And that's when everyone counted them out. But this season, after firing their head coach Doc Rivers and replacing him with Tyron Lue, the Clippers look like legit championship contenders this season. And let's get into some of the reasons why. And the first reason is, obviously, because they have Kawhi freaking Leonard. I mean, in case any of y'all have forgotten, this dude is a two-time Finals MVP, a five-time All-Star, two-time Defensive Player of the Year, and is the best two-way player in the game today. And his production this season is absolutely amazing, as he's averaging about 26 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists while flirting with 50, 40, 90 averages, while giving you lockdown defense as well. And he has shown that he can show up when his team needs him the most, because I'm sure Philly fans still haven't forgotten this shot. So he is the first and main reasons the Clippers are legit contenders. The next reason, Paul George, and I know, I know, PG has kind of been known as a playoff choker now, and he hasn't performed well in the past few postseasons. But let's not forget that this dude went toe to toe with LeBron James and the Big Three Miami Heat. And this season, after having a terrible postseason run, I mean, there are really no excuses. He sucked in the playoffs last year. He is back with his trainer that he was working with when he had his best season in OKC, and that has definitely helped him out as he is putting up stats of about 24 points, 6 rebounds, and 5 assists while shooting almost 49% from the field, 43% from 3, and almost 89% from the free throw line while also being able to lock down the team's best offensive player. But he is kind of flying under the radar, so I think that this postseason, PG will show the world that he can still play like an all-NBA caliber player come playoff time. Now the next reason is their off-season and mid-season signings. Now last offseason, they lost their 6th man of the year, Montrez Harrell, to their rival, the Lakers, but then they went out and got Serge Ibaka from the Raptors and Nick Batum from the Hornets. And just a few weeks ago, they acquired veteran point guard Rajon Rondo from the Hawks. And those are all great additions to this roster. Ibaka's defense and ability to space the floor helps this team out so much because not only is he a great defender at 31 years old, but he has also great defensive instincts to call out rotations for his teammates. And as for Batum, nobody really thought too highly of him because he had some pretty underwhelming years in Charlotte. But this season, he showed that he can still contribute to a winning team as he is doing what he was brought on to do, which is make shots. And he is shooting over 41% from behind the arc. And as for Rondo, even though they had to give up the best six men of all time, Lou Williams, to get him, I think that he will help this team out a lot in the playoffs because playoff Rondo is definitely still a real thing. And I think that in the playoffs, they should have Patrick Beverly start the games, but Rondo as the one to finish them. 
And lastly, it's their entire roster. I mean, let me just read off some numbers for you. They are ranked 1st in offensive rating and 11th in defensive rating. They are also ranked 1st in free throw percentage and 1st in 3 point shooting percentage. And speaking of 3 point shooting percentage, they have 8 players on their roster that are averaging over 40% from behind the arc. Headlined by Marcus Morris who is shooting over 47%. And we also can't ignore the other players who are also contributing, guys like Ivica Zubats who has been a really solid center for them and is the team leader in field goal percentage and rebounds. We also can't leave out guys like Luke Kennard, Demarcus Cousins, and Terrence Mann. So that's why I believe the Los Angeles Clippers can win the 2021 NBA Championship. Now let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this team? And also let me know who do you guys have winning the title? And with that being said, thank you guys very much for watching this video. We are pushing for 1000 subscribers in 2021. So if you guys liked it, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications as I upload new videos every single week. And thanks for watching.